Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be another fun pregnancy update for you guys. This one's been coming for a while since um, I didn't do one. Well, what I mean by that is I'm going to be fitting in more weeks in this update. Uh, there'll be four weeks instead of my usual three week. Every Usually I do every three weeks I do an update on my pregnancy. Um, but anyway, if you're new here, welcome. This is a pregnancy update for baby number three um so so yeah if you're new here i am pregnant with my third child have two already and so yeah i'm excited to tell you guys all the different things that's happened this week and so let's go ahead and let's jump right into this update all right so hope you guys have all been doing well i feel like i've been very um I haven't been on YouTube a whole lot and I've been really lacking in the making content department um, but that's just because a lot of things have been happening lately our family has just been super busy and um, everything with like the new year is just like come down on us like a top of a ton of bricks thankfully it's nothing too crazy or too life-changing um, it's just been we've been really busy and all of a sudden this new year has just thrown us through a busy loop so and not to mention I am pregnant and a mama of two toddlers so um, and I'm a stay-at-home wife and mother so I have my hands full and I absolutely love that it's just at times it gets overwhelming and so sometimes unfortunately YouTube my YouTube channel gets the front of it um, but that's okay because I'm sure most of you understand how that goes but anyway so life's been crazy pregnancy has been great though um, pregnancy wise I think last time I kind of told you guys I was on the up and up I was feeling better um, as far as morning sickness goes I almost have very like none um, just this week though I have noticed that I've been more sensitive to smells again for some reason like that went away for a while and now I'm like more sensitive to it I don't know anyway so I am currently 17 weeks along um, but I'm gonna be updating you guys on week 14 15 16 and how 17 is going so far so um, 14 went really great it was the first week out of my third uh, first trimester and I felt a lot better I was still pretty exhausted um, but thankfully thankfully I Again, I said like I'm on the up and up and that means energy wise, I have a lot more, I'm not exhausted. Um, I still do sleep a lot more than I usually do. And that's just pregnancy. I mean, you're literally creating a human being inside of you. So it takes a lot of your calories up, just saying. And so anyway, but besides that, I've been feeling really good. Uh, so, but yeah, 14 weeks, nothing really went crazy. Um, Everything was pretty fine and dandy. I'm pretty sure I did have a cold, which having a cold when you're pregnant or the flu or anything like that, unfortunately is, seems like it's like twice, if not like 10 times worse, but um, it just seems like it doubles. And um, so that wasn't fun, but it lasted about, I'd say like a week and a half, or no, it lasted about five days. So that was fun. Anyway, 15 weeks came around and um, I think I was still slightly sick, um, but I felt better. 15 weeks did come around and that was my midwife appointment. I, again, I was feeling really good. Um, nothing too crazy happened in 15 weeks. The cool thing that did get to happen was I had my second midwife appointment and I got to hear the heartbeat again. Um, one thing is some of the stuff that we found out at the 15 week appointment is that we're pretty sure that there is just one baby in here. <laughs> um, I actually seem to even out on my growth. Um, so I'm not measuring too big. I'm pretty much right on track. And so um, that's a good thing. I'm a slightly disappointed that it's not twins. There is still slight chance, but there's always a chance, especially if you don't have an ultrasound. I will not be having an ultrasound with this baby if I can help it. And so, all natural we're we're really going for as pretty much as natural and as like untouched as possible so excuse me. anyway so yeah we're doing we're not doing that 
and um, it's trying, my brain is gone. Oh yeah, the midwife appointment. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it went really good at measuring on track. The heartbeat was like 145-ish, um, which funny thing about the heartbeat, now granted this is totally an old wives tale and totally has no like big significance. There's a slight scientific thing about it, but not really, because it all depends on every person. Um, but with both my kids, they've had very different heart rates. And as far as like growing up, my mom always didn't ever swore by the heartbeat method. But they say is that if a heartbeat, on, if a baby right around like 20 weeks, um, I say 20 weeks because right from like 17 to 20 weeks, their heart rate starts to regulate. So even like my 15 week appointment, I felt like was still close enough to kind of get a, a feel for what the heart rate was going to be like. Anyway. So the old wives tale is that if the heartbeat heart rate is above 140, then it's a girl. If the heart rate is above is below 140, then the heart then the boy it's a boy. And um, with both my other kids, that has so far been the case. Kyla was in the 140s, 150s range, and Judah was in the like 130s range, I believe. So anyway. Um, that's kind of been, and I've been right both times, um, but granted, every kid can throw you off. Any kid can throw you off. So anyway, if I was to guess, and I won't guess until this next appointment, which is in two weeks, and that'll be right around my 20 week appointment, um, that's when everything kind of starts to regulate and the baby has a regular heartbeat or a heart rate. And um, then I'll probably put a guess in, but I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards baby girl. Could be wrong, because this baby was, its heart rate was 145-ish, um, and so we'll see what this baby turns out to be, but I'm going to probably guess girl, we'll see. I'll tell you my guess in the next update, but I'll take a look towards the girl. We'll see. I have a lot of my pregnancy symptoms are somewhat more similar to Kayla than Judah, so we'll see. But anyway, this pregnancy is very different too from both of them, so we'll just see what happens. Anyway. that means I'll only have just as much time <laughs> that it's taken me to get here as to prepare for the birth. And I'm going to, for those of you who are new, I am going to be doing a home birth just like my second child. My firstborn unfortunately was a transfer from home, trying to have a home birth to a hospital birth. But Kyla was able to have at home and so I'm hoping to do the same with this baby. And so we will be doing that. Also want to clarify something because some of you have been curious and I thought I kind of made it clear, but there's a lot of new people who come and follow me. So anyway, um, we are not going to be finding out the gender, if at all possible. Um, we don't really feel like there's a need. We already have a boy and a girl, so I have clothes for both kids and I have, 
and a lot of things I still have like a lot of gender neutral clothes and it's kind of fun to have a baby shower after you've had your baby excuse me because then everybody gets to see the baby and hold the baby and mow on the baby and you know you're feeling a little better I don't know anyway it's kind of cool oh my goodness and so that's exciting we will be doing something very different as far as like we've always found out and so now this baby's going to be a surprise and not even have an ultrasound so very much so just trying to do it on our own and um but we will be having a midwife um at our home birth i'm not i don't do an unassisted unless i need to um i feel like having her there is really nice and it comforts me and keeps me at peace and if i want to be by myself i can always go in the other room with my husband um and so i will be having her i do not have a doula and i won't be having a doula um, my mom is kind of like my doula because she's been through so many births. If, for those of you who are new, um, I have a mom or <laughs> I have a family of eight siblings. So, um, there's nine of us children in our family. And so my mom knows quite a lot about birth and she's the one who encouraged me to have home births and pretty much inspired me to have a home birth. Um, she's also inspired me to actually become a doula myself. Hopefully down the road someday I can actually make that happen, Lord willing. And um, But if not, that's fine. Anyway, my mom is going to be essentially my doula, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, but she's been there for every one of my births so far, and so she does a really good job. Anyway, I'm looking over here because I did write some things down so I don't forget to tell you certain things. And it looks like I have pretty much filled you guys all in but um yeah 17 weeks is so far going really good and I feel huge I will show you a bump here in just a moment um but yeah baby is just so so crazy crazy like likes to move all the time and already like I can feel where the baby is I can feel the, like head and the butt um and I feel like your third pregnancy you just know more and you are more aware of what's going on inside of you so it's kind of fun kind of cool so but yeah anyway so super excited for this third baby i have another 20 weeks or so left or yeah i have more than 20 weeks left but anyway you know what i mean i'm almost halfway there guys and i can't believe it so i gotta prepare for baby and for home birth and i'll do some more videos on like how I'm preparing for home birth, what supplies I'm going to get, um, why I use a midwife, all of those different kind of videos I will definitely be planning and then will be in the works. If you have a specific video you would like me to film on anything pregnancy, then please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to like look over those and see if I can make a video on them. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you're pregnant, Again, let me know what you, how long you, how far along you are. I would love to congratulate you and also just share each other's walks with pregnancy, journeys with pregnancy. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stand up and show you the little bump, the big bump, whatever. <laughs> this little update um, I'm all done now there's nothing else to update you guys on but if you are um, interested in any other if you have any other questions about my pregnancy or my how I how I do things um, I would love to do a pregnancy Q&A here soon so I will be asking some questions on my Instagram page or account and if you'd like to go follow me and check me out you can I'll leave the um, my username right here but um you can check me out there if you would like i'm very active on there so if you're interested in some personal stuff or see what i do from my day-to-day -day life um i do reels there and posts and stuff like that so anyway if you're interested in taking part in a lot of my q a's and questions 
please go check me out um, on Instagram. But I will be doing a Q&A hopefully here soon. But if you're interested or you're not on Instagram, you can leave your questions down below in this in the comment section down below um, and I will answer them in the next whenever I have a pregnancy Q&A and I'll answer them then. So if you have any of those questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.